Now what I want to do is I actually want to change another setting or property I guess it's called fill style and what the fill style is is it's basically the color of your font and the font can actually be a pattern or a gradient but for now I just want to make it a very basic solid color and a cool color that I like is actually deep sky blue I know it kinda sounds like you know a hippie emo color but you know I tend to like it even though I'm not you know I don't think I'm a hippie emo and the next thing I want to do is I actually want to change my stroke style so context stroke style and remember that I said that fill style was basically the font color so it's the font solid color now the stroke style is basically the outline or the border color of the font so for the stroke color I want dark slate gray and you can actually spell gray with an E or an A depending on if you're you know British or American or whatever so basically what we did is aside from that little mistake we basically referenced the canvas in the context and changed some properties of the context or the object we used to write on the canvas itself so now that all the properties are, are set let's actually go ahead and start drawing something drawing some text well in order to actually draw text on the canvas what you do is you put context in this already knows that you're working with this canvas because we referenced it right here so any function that we use like fill text automatically gets written on our canvas so fill text is a function that basically adds text on the canvas now it takes three parameters the first parameter is what text do you want basically what do you want it to say and I'll just go ahead and write um what smells like tuna now the second parameter is the second two parameters are the X and Y position so for the X position which is left and right let's just go ahead and put it at 30 and the Y position is 200 so 30 pixels over 200 pixels down we want you to write what smells like tuna so if we go ahead and run this in launching Chrome right now that is the JavaScript file and right here is the HTML file what smells like tuna and what color did I choose um oh yeah deep sky blue but now let me go ahead and add that stroke style or stroke text and what this is going to do is it's going to add a border around this so right now as you can see we have solid deep sky blue font now in order to add a border around this this is what you do I think I just repeated the same thing twice it's easier if we just copy this save it a little time because I'm a little bit lazy and instead of fill text just put stroke text stroke text now you can leave all the other parameters the same and the stroke text is actually going to be this color right here so if you save this and refresh it check it out this is deep sky blue and the stroke is dark slate gray or whatever I did so that is how you write basic text to the screen in HTML5 so for now thank you guys for watching in the next tutorial don't know what I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna play with old Dan for a little bit but come back it's gonna be awesome and I'll, uh, oh yeah don't forget to subscribe